Here we have our automatic watering system for the for the vegetable garden that you saw in the previous video. And uh, so what we got is a uh, two, well, three 1,000 litre tanks. It's actually just these two 1,000 litre tanks that are joined with a, a T section. And then a little filter because uh, this, well, there's a lot of algae in here. A filter, an old pump that somebody gave me. It's a 12 volt uh, boat pump, boat shower pump. And we got this little 50 watt um, solar panel connected to a car battery under here. So car battery with a charger, you can see that the, uh, the battery is fully charged. And that just stays there. And then we've got this automatic watering system that I got for 20 euros. Pfft. Super cheap, uh, works really well. 20 euros, even comes with a rain sensor. This rain sensor just works, uh, some little holes up here. And when it rains, the holes fill up and that pushes this down with the weight of the, of the water. There's a little sponge in there. I don't know if you can see it, there's a little sponge. And so when it gets wet, it, uh, it gets heavy and just turns it off. Okay. So that's our watering system. The water we get here, we get out of our well, which is down there. That tree there is actually our well. That's the uh, uh, fig tree that is growing in there. It doesn't give us any figs because uh, I think it's got too much water from the well. And so the water out of our well is actually polluted. It's polluted because uh, we live in a agricultural area and we have a stream that runs along the edge of our land and in this village here Montuiri in that village they have a water treatment system so uh, all the fecal you know, toilet water and all that kind of stuff and they dump the treated water in the stream that runs along the edge of our land and so it's polluted it's polluted with uh, high nitrates high nitrites um, and uh, yeah, so we got the pollution on one side from the water treatment uh, facility, and we got the pollution from the um, the agriculture in the area. So I looked up on the internet, and there was um, I'll, I'll put a link in the video description. There's um, this uh, three-stage water filter system that was designed for third world countries, for for places that have um, very high toxicity levels in the water because of chemicals from agriculture that aren't allowed in uh, in Europe but are allowed there. They're highly toxic chemicals which are allowed and so it's a three-stage water filter. The first stage is just, let's see if I can get this off, it's just a gravel filter. So we don't really need this I think because uh, our water comes out fairly clean from the well in here this is the tank that it's feeding off and the water is fairly clean um, but anyway this is different layers of, uh, of gravel going from really big rocks at the bottom to uh, smaller golf ball sized rocks and then onto uh, this kind of pea gravel stuff so this would take out any you know any bits of dirt or anything in in the uh, so big stuff sticks and if you were getting your water from a river and it was cloudy then this would take out most of the cloudiness. So the second stage is known as a uh, bio sand filter. Let me clean this out a bit so that you can see the sand. So under here doesn't look very clean but that's fine because this water hasn't gone through the sand yet. But um, so here what you have is after the water has been through the sand, the, the gravel, then it comes through this filter here. Here what I've got is um, just building sand. Um, so well you start off at the bottom with uh, once again big stones, 
big stones to about here, then you've got smaller gravel, smaller gravel still, and then there's 35 centimeters, 30 or 35 centimeters of sand, builder's sand. Um, what happens, I don't know if you can see it, if you can see it properly on the video, you can see that little patch there of lighter colored sand. So that's the original color of the sand. The other stuff is actually um, a film of uh, bacteria, I think it is, so biological creatures that create a film on there and so as the water goes through them, those creatures, uh, those, that bacteria competes with any pathogens or anything else that's in the water and eats them as far as I can remember. And uh, these biosand filters are used in, in third world countries to treat um, very uh, chemical laden water to make it drinkable. Um, so that goes, we have water comes fed by gravity, that's why this uh, thing's on stilts, out of the tank at the top, fills this one, yeah, and once it's full, comes through here and drips down through the sand, so the bio sand filter, and then comes up here and pours into this. This should be the third stage, um, now it's just holding water at the moment, but in here it should be a biochar filter. So it's um, char that you you can make yourself, uh, you can make it out of uh, anything almost. And then in here we'd have the same as in the bio sand filter, but um, we'd have biochar. So you have big stones, then gravel, then a layer of sand, then uh, the biochar, and the biochar absorbs any kind of chemicals that are left over in the water and um, and then and removes any bad taste or odors that, that may have. You know that if you get sick you can use, you get um, activated charcoal uh, capsules that, uh, that absorb any, any toxins. And that's it for the moment. Then you'd have the last one would be uh, the, the storage for the clean water. At the moment we only have, it's only uh, two stage really, it's the, the gravel filter and then the sand filter which is good enough for the moment for us to shower. We've set up our little shower here. So um, good enough for us to shower and wash our hands, do the, the washing and things like that. We haven't had it tested but the, the system is, is widely used um, all over the world for places that have a lot worse toxis, uh, toxins in the water and th than we have here. So, um, so far we haven't got sick. We haven't been drinking it, obviously. We bring water from home. Here's Tracy's little setup for washing. <laughs> so now we have uh, good water whenever we want. We can wash our hands and stuff, which is great, and have a shower. I used to wash my hands in here. This was the cleanest water I had. This is a stand-in pond at the moment where the wasps like to come and uh, drink. So yeah, that's it. That's our three-stage um, filter. Uh, I will put uh, all the links to all the information about this filter in the description so that you can make your own. Um, I'm, I'm quite confident that, that this filter will be good enough to treat the groundwater in order to fill up our water tank, which we haven't finished yet. It's that big hole over there. Uh, at the moment it gives us about 400 litres a day easily fills up two of these barrels. I think it would, it would probably do a bit more, about maybe 500 litres a day. So there you go. Thanks.